Alan Hitchett here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. On the last episode, Goku and Vegeta fused using the Metamarie's Art of Fusion, and they became Gogeta, and they defeated the evil entity known as Janimba. Now it's time to report back to King Yama. Now that we have defeated Janimba. Thought there was something to do here, but apparently there's not. Hey, King Yama! Goku, thanks for defeating Janemba. Everything is back to normal here. Well, almost normal. I have a favor to ask you. Could you see if my son Gohan came through here? Do you realize what you're asking of me? I've just processed a million souls, and there are even more waiting in line outside. Yeah, the Earth is under a siege by Majin Buu. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the whole population ended up here before long. The whole population? But I think my son Gohan can help us avoid that. I just need to know if he's been... If he's here or if he's on Earth. Do you mind seeing if he's checked in yet? Very well, let me check the books. I don't see any Gohans in here. You mean he's still alive? That's great! By the way, Goku, did you know a guy named Dabora? Sure did. He came through here a while back. He was quite a handful. He was supposed to go below to hell. But being the Demon King and all, I figured he'd enjoy it. So instead, I gave him the stamp of approval to go to heaven. Now, I wonder if Gohan isn't here. Where is he? Dinner's almost ready, Boo! Boo hungry! Be hungry, too! Y'all, oh, you named him B. That's great. Well, what do we have here? The great hero Hercule. What a joke. Majin Buu is destroying the world and you're serving him meals like a maid. What are you doing here? Now you die, champ. What happened? No! 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 Batman make friend dead! And he uses his powers to heal Hercule. Whoa, you saved me, Boo. I'm alive. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! Boo, what's wrong? What's the matter? Go away. Go away quick. Take me and go. Go? Why? I'm your friend. I can't leave you. Go now. All right, I'm going. Oh no, the bad boo! Bad, bad, bad boo! All the evil released out of Majin Boo and formed into another evil boo. What's going on, B? It's like all the bad stuff inside Boo has escaped to become another boo. Who are you? Tell me who you are first. I'm Majin Boo! You fool, I'm Majin Boo. You to chocolate! And he reversed the beam onto the good boo. <clears throat> An evil boo becomes super boo after absorbing Majin Boo. So many boos. Chapter 9 Super Boo. Now we have control of Goku. What's our mission? No, not scan. How do you check the mission in this game? It doesn't say. What do I do? If Gohan isn't here, then why can I feel his energy? It seems like he's in the other world. Where could he be? We now have access to another area. Of course, he must be with the Supreme Kai. Yup. Planet of the Kais. Dad, what are you doing here? Ah, watch where you're swinging that thing. Hey, what's with the fancy clothes? The Supreme Kai gave them to me, you like? Oh, hey, Supreme Kai. Greetings, Goku. Impossible. How did you get to the sacred world of the Kais? No one besides the Supreme Kai and myself even know where this place is located. Easy, I just used inst the instant transmission technique to home in on Gohan's energy. Hey, Gohan, how did you get here anyway? 
Well, after I tried to fight Boo, I was knocked unconscious. Supreme Kai and Kabito healed me and then brought me here to train. Which reminds me, Kabito, how did you survive Dempora's attack on you? The truth is, I didn't. But I suddenly found myself mysteriously alive and back on Earth. I don't know why. Oh yeah, you must have been wished back when Bulma used the Dragon Balls. Say, Gohan, where did you get that neat sword? Well, that's a bit of a long story. Flashback. In-game flashbacks. That's... This isn't right. Gohan doesn't belong in a place like this. No living mortal has ever stood upon this sacred ground. I brought Gohan here to get the Z-Sword. It's the only way to beat Majin Buu. The Z-Sword? You can't be serious. How could a mere Earthling do what the Kais themselves could not? I am certain that Gohan is the right one to wield the Z-Sword. He won't pull the Z-Sword from that rock, I can guarantee it. Excuse me, what's the Z-Sword? At the top of this mountain, there is a sword embedded in the rock. Is that how you spell embedded? Doesn't look right. The sword holds an unimaginable power. I believe you will be the one to pull it out. No one else has done it. If you can pull it from the rock, you will be the first. But here we have an instance of a one-off costume that we can scan of Gohan to get into the computer. But the Z-Sword is up at the top. We get behind it and there's a mini-game. To pull the Z-Sword from the rock, press the A button, B button, or the control pad as fast as you can. The meter will indicate your strength. So we just mash everything. It's not hard at all. You did it, Gohan! The Z-Sword is free! Well, Capito, it seems you've underestimated our young friend. How does it feel to hold the legendary Z-Sword, Gohan? It's heavy! I can barely lift it. Hey, I know how I could beat Boo. If I just drop this sword on top of him, it will be so heavy he won't be able to move. How dare you make jokes? Have you no respect for the power that you hold in your hands? This sword is the ultimate weapon, and you have removed it. It is your responsibility to master the sword. You will have to work harder than you ever have, because in your hands... If your hands continue to tremble like that, the battle with Majin Buu will be over before it's begun. I see, so you've been training ever since with the Z-Sword? Hey, I got an idea. What do you say we put that baby to the test and see how sharp it really is? Let's start off with a small one. Are you sure this is a good idea? So here we have another minigame. It's like baseball. Ready when you are. When Goku throws the boulder, press the A button to swing your sword. Alright, I think we're ready for a big one now. Just a second, why don't you try this? Whoa, what's that? It's the hardest metal in the known universe. It's called Kachin. This isn't a good idea at all. Are you ready, Gohan? Sure. Okay, batter up. When Goku throws a block of Kachin, press the A button to swing the sword. It snapped in two! No, please tell me this isn't happening, Kabito! He who wields this sword is supposed to have the greatest power in the universe. Wield the sword and you can't be rivaled. It's legend. Well, maybe they exaggerated a bit in the legend. They weren't clear on what snapped in two in the game. Not the kachin, the sword broke. Wait, there might be a bright side to all this. The sword training did make me a lot stronger and faster. Maybe the legend means that the person who was able to master the handling of the sword attains the greatest power in the universe. What do you think? Yes, it is possible. Your power has definitely increased from handling it. And if you're stronger at this level, think of how much stronger you'll be as a Super Saiyan. Gohan doesn't need the sword. He already attained the power. But does Gohan's power surpass that of Majin Buu? I'm not so sure. So what are you saying, Goku? We don't have a chance? Quiet! Who are you? How did you get here? You can't tell who I am by looking at me. I'm a guy from 15 generations ago. Huh? I'm sure you're wondering why I'm still alive. Well, listen, back in my time, there was an evil villain. Well, he wasn't quite as bad as Majin Buu, but he was still pretty bad. The only thing he feared was that I would use my awesome powers to stop him in his evil ways. So he tricked me, and he sealed me away in the Z-Sword. And I was trapped in there ever since. Uh, awesome powers? You don't look that strong. How dare you! Back in my time, all of my enemies feared me. But not because of my strength. My menacing capacities were what struck terror into their hearts. Menacing capacities? What does that mean? I'm not telling. Not after you insulted me. I could easily teach you about my awesome powers. But what's in it for me? Hmm, my old master loved girly magazines. I could get you some. 
I don't have time for such things. Besides, with my omnipresent vision, I can see girls playing volleyball on the beach anytime I want. Are you seriously a Kai? Hey, old man, I got an idea. How about I get a get you a date with a real live Earth woman? Hey, <laughs> is she a good kisser? You bet. But look, this guy is exactly like Master Roshi. Okay, old man, I've got someone in mind, as long as you don't mind blue hair. No, I don't mind, as long as she's a good kisser. It's settled, then. What are these menacing capacities you were talking about? But, Mom, I don't want to take a nap. You need your rest, young man. Besides, how are you supposed to save the world if you fall asleep from being too tired? Aww. Take a nap. Hey, Goten, what, Trunks? See that window? I bet we could sneak out. Okay, Trunks, well, we better get back to bed before our moms catch us. Trunks, you're beeping! Huh, I'm not beeping. It must be you. Wait a second. I think it's the Scouter. Hello, Trunks. This is your grandfather. I'm talking to you through the Scouter. I have a couple of things to tell you. The first thing is that I'm hearing about an increased bandit activity as of late. There's a lot more dangerous enemies wandering the Earth these days, so be careful. The second thing that I have is an upgrade for your scouter. Come meet me at Calvin Corp Lab and I'll install it for you. So we fly out the window and I think the bandit activity has now kicked into gear and now I can actually land in the airships and obtain as many bandanas as I need. I'm going to try to show that off now by looking for an airship to land in before we go get that upgrade for the scouter. There's got to be an airship somewhere. I don't want to fly all over the place and not find anything. This mission will bear fruit. There's one. Okay, good. Finally. Drop bandanas. They're not dropping bandanas at all. That's not a bandana. Okay, I killed everything on this and didn't get a single bandana. Oh well. I'll find them eventually. Let's go to Capsule Corporation and get that scouter upgrade. Drop in West City. There's actually an exhibit that I can get now. If I come this way and talk to this guy, I could really go for a thick, juicy T-bone steak right about now. I'm so hungry. Can I have your T-bone steak? Yep. We get a Hercule exhibit from the guy who wants a steak. And I happen to find a lot of steaks, so that was a no-brainer. Wait, while I'm here in West City, let's see if I can buy a turkey. Items. Oh, I can! Buy the turkey, the elixir, the super elixir. Let's buy the three course meal. Okay. The reason I bought that stuff will become clear in the future when I go to use them. Okay, now we gotta go to the lab. The lab's on this side now for some reason. I'm glad you came. Here, let me have your scouter. Let's see. It should be as simple as inserting the data crystal, tighten the conduit, now reset the bios. Here you go. Upgraded scouter. Now you'll be able to see areas on your map that you haven't been to yet. Areas you haven't visited or marked in gray. What a useless feature. I don't think I'd be using that at all. But, next time on Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, we take a nap. I'll see you then.